Hello everyone, uh, just a quick update here. I have completed a second set of my Frankenstein Red Dragon Five Finger Sparring Glove uh, mashups. So as you can see, uh, I've put chopped up a Red Dragon Glove and glued them onto the Five Finger Sparring Glove. Now this is a friend's set of gloves. Uh, he wanted the exact same protection that I have on mine. We've recently had a few people at our school, our academy, Duello in Vancouver, um, either at the school or abroad in tournaments or sparring, um, break a few fingers in these gloves, um, particularly the pinkies. Now you need to factor on these gloves when you order them that they only have a few centimeters of resin protection between your finger, your opponent's weapon, or pommel, which actually was what broke one of the fingers, um, and the handle of the sword. And all three of those things are very important because a lot of the damage to people's fingers happens in the compression on the handle of the sword. So what this will assist with is just simply creating an extra level of protection for the fingers. Now they don't go all the way up. I could put them all the way up on the fingers, but as you can see, they only go halfway up. The reason for that is for people who like grappling. So the gloves still open nicely and you still have full articulation of the fingers. So this is uh, not another review because I'll link down below all my reviews and the creation of these gloves. This is more of just a saying, hey, here's a second set I've completed. The process was relatively the same. I was a little bit faster at it this time. Um, it's, rel it's easy and I can say from the experience from my gloves, it's a, a big improvement on these gloves and it actually makes them worthwhile using in full speed combat. Um, I still recommend if you're really worried about your hands and they tend to get hit more and particularly if you're a new sword fighter, new sword fighters tend to get their hands hit a little bit more than others. Um, I would still recommend the Spets Heavies. They're probably the most protective. The thumb's a little weak, but uh, they're, they're more protective than these. But with that being said, here's uh, set number two and I hope to make some more of these for some uh, people out at my school just to keep their fingers safe because having broken fingers is not fun and it takes you out of sword fighting for a few months which also is not fun. So thanks for watching the video and I'll give some more updates in the future on more Frankenstein gloves. Thank you. Have a good day.